Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I'm Makai Michelle. Today we have another safe place for the pretty girls episode. My girls have been wanting to know what's tea with me, what's been going on, so we're going to get into that today, have a life update, and get into these 20-somethings, so let's do our makeup and have some girl chat. Girls, 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 how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's feeling absolutely amazing. You know, before every single video, I always have to check in with my girls and see how everybody is feeling. Y'all, your girl has been feeling pretty good recently. I am in this different space that I haven't been in for a really long time. I think this is something that comes and goes for me for sure. But as of right now, I definitely have just found this new excitement for life like this new hunger for life again and i've really seen myself especially recently tapping into that younger childlike mindset and when i say childlike mindset i don't mean to the point where i'm acting childish and doing crazy things i'm talking about seeing more for myself and seeing bigger for myself i think when we are all younger we have so many dreams goals aspirations anything is possible to us and as we get older, society and the things that happen to us, experiences, challenges we face kind of start to shape us that those things are unattainable and unrealistic, you know? And when I tap into that childlike mindset, that's when I'm my most creative. That's when I'm dreaming bigger than ever before. And... I just feel like I get so much more out of life that way. I recently saw this video of Virgil Abloh, right? Y'all know he is such a creative and I saw this video of him where he was saying, normal people get normal results, extraordinary people get extraordinary results. Don't quote me on that, but he said something along those lines. And it just had me thinking like, yes, it's always going to be the people that are thinking bigger and doing more that are getting more. And a lot of us have to realize that there's no limits on what you can achieve. The only limits that exist in this world are the ones that you place on yourself. And whenever you place a limit on yourself, whenever you box yourself in, that's when you do a disservice to yourself and you're only hurting you. Boxing yourself in, limiting your own creative beliefs is self-harm, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't allow yourself to get in that mindset. And a lot of young people and young girls especially need to work on their self-concept because when you want to change your life, the first step is going to be changing your mindset. So the best decision you could ever make for yourself is reframing your thinking and training yourself to think outside the box. Think outside of what society has told you and what people around you have told you is possible for yourself. Y'all know me personally, I am very, very critical of myself. I am such a critical person and it's so crazy because I'm never critical and judgmental of others, but when it comes to me, I think it's okay. And I've had to check that and get that in place. I've had to learn to clock my own tea when it comes to that because there are so many things that I could have had already had I believed I could do it. For example, I have one right here. Let me show you guys this, okay? This right here is a lip gloss of my formula my tubing and everything like that that i made when i was 17 years old i believe 17 years old but i psyched myself out to dropping it i thought i wasn't ready for it i wanted to have a lab i wanted to have different packaging better bottles better everything when had i started like this i would have worked all the kinks out along the way and i would have a three-year-old business right now you see the self-harm <laughs> you see how i stopped my own bag we're not doing it anymore. You have to stop. And recently, what I've learned, especially as I go through life, is that everything I want to be, I already am. It's not I am becoming my dream girl. I already am my dream girl. So many of us, and I think this has a lot to do with social media and all of the self-help information and content that we are consuming, we get trapped in this mindset of becoming, forever becoming. Yes, we're supposed to be growing forever, but we get trapped in this mindset of we have to wait until we have this and we need this to do this and to become the person we want to be, when in reality, you are that person already. When you are saying you need something to become who you want to be, you're only further convincing yourself that who you are right now isn't enough and that who you are right now is not that person. When you should be telling yourself that you are that person and then walking into that, Walking into that mindset, how does that person act? How does that person dress? How does that person look? You just be that person. Let's get into being and stop focusing on becoming. What I'm focused on right now is making my external match my internal. Because at the end of the day, your reality is just your thoughts reflected back towards you. Which again is why I said if you want to change that life, you got to start with that mindset. You got to start with that self-concept. Because until you do that, you'll constantly have the same reflection back towards you, which is the reality that you live in right now. And with me learning this, I've also had to really learn how to take action. Okay, like I said, with my fear before about starting my own business and psyching myself out, 
um, I have to learn that if I'm allowing myself to just be, I have to also allow myself to just do. It's okay if you mess up along the way, but start somewhere. I've had to let go of my fears of failing, you know, especially with on the internet, y'all, for a long time because I've been making videos and content since I was about 10. I think I was literally in like fifth or sixth grade when I posted my first video on YouTube which is not up anymore, so don't go looking, okay? But with me being on the internet, there was a time when I was a teenager and I started to really get nervous about it because I'm like, hold on, hmm, I'm watching everybody else, okay? I'm watching all the other content creators get their tweets from 15 years ago pulled up, okay? So I started getting a little bit nervous and I'm like, I'm so sure that a lot of the things I'm saying, I'm not gonna agree with in a few years. I might have a change of thought. I might have a different view of, life than I do right now because at the time I was only 16, 17 having these thoughts and it started to scare me. Like I was scared to mess up and I was also scared to mess up on camera. I didn't want to make a mistake and then years down the line I'm dealing with the consequences of something I said so long ago. And sometimes the internet does not allow you and allow people in general to change their mind. They make it seem like you have to be one way all the time, which like I said before is not possible because we are multi-dimensional human beings, okay? Um, you can't ever be one thing and what i've had to learn for the sake of my content and what i love to do is that my job is not to be perfect i'm going to mess up because i'm only 20 years old at that time i was only 17 16 years old i'm going to mess up along the way that is okay my job is not to be perfect on the internet my job is to show the girls how you can fall and get back up show the girls the beauty in the journey okay the beauty and falling and getting right back up, the beauty of going through things and facing challenges and running into obstacles and still coming out on top. Because at the end of the day, still I rise, okay? My Angela vibes. Yeah, still I rise, my Angela vibes. And honestly, there's no reason for me to even have the fear of messing up because even when I do, I always end up on top. I always make it out, okay? Some girls feel stuck. You're never stuck. You're never stuck. It feels like the end of the world. It feels like you're stuck. It feels like you're going through it right now, but you are never stuck. You can always unstick yourself. There's always a way out, and that's what I'm showing the girls. That's what my goal is to show the girls. Life is so flexible, and that's one of the beauties of life is that it's flexible, is that it's always changing, is that you're always changing and learning. And to try to take a route out of that part of life will never work. That's the only way to evolve and um, grow is if you make mistakes and learn from them. Oh, I didn't do my, see, one thing I was talking and doing videos, sometimes it gets real crazy because, boo, I did not even put on my liquid blush. I should have definitely did that before setting, but it's okay. I guess we're not using liquid blush. We probably still can. I think we could still make that work. We'll probably still add some, but that'd be one of the downfalls of doing your makeup and talking at the same time that's why i asked y'all okay quick intermission that's why i asked y'all i said would y'all want to hear me just talk and my makeup is already done and the girls are like no 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 you need to do your makeup while you talk okay well then i gotta get back into the gist of it i gotta figure it out again gotta dip my feet back in the water because bro it's difficult but like I was saying, um, yeah, that's one of the beauties of life is that you're always changing, you're always learning, you're always growing. When you mess up, the beauty of it is it's not forever, okay? When you mess up, literally, the best part about it in this life is that you can figure it out. You can get it together. Especially at this age, life is so malleable that literally everything works in your gut. It's either a learning experience or a learning experience, honestly. So when you lose, it's still a win. And honestly, that's another thing I was nervous about, y'all, before when it came to posting content. Oh, look. Look how beautiful that blush is sitting on top of that. That was a makeup by Mario powder. He ate with that. I've really been liking that powder. Oh, this is tea. Hold on. But that's another thing I was nervous about when it came to posting my content is, okay, if I'm going to mess up on camera, people are going to see this and they're going to hold me to it. But at the end of the day, the people doing better than you are never going to be the one judging you for your mistakes. It's never going to be them. It's always going to be the dirty bun bitches hating on you and having something to say about you messing up. Because the people that are doing better than you don't have the time, nor do they care. It's always going to be somebody who would trade places with you if given the chance hating and having something to say about your mistakes and your past and you know anything that you've been through the people at the top they know what the journey to the top is like 
So they're not going to fault you for your mistakes and your mishaps. Because the idea that people might judge or criticize me has definitely stopped me from doing a lot of content, okay? It's even stopped me from doing videos like this where I'm sitting down talking, sharing my opinions on things. And also because I'm only 20 years old, sometimes I think, what can I really bring to the table? You know, I'm still learning each and every day. I'm growing each and every day. There's always something to learn. And especially when you're 20, <laughs> there's a lot, okay, that I don't know. But I've always been told that I am super wise for my age. I know that I'm super wise for my age. I know that there's a lot of knowledge I can share. And just because I don't know everything doesn't mean I don't know anything. And what I do know, I want to be able to share that with my platform. I want to be able to have these conversations with my girls. If there's somebody else that I can inspire and motivate, that's what matters to me. There's a lot that I have yet to learn, but there's also a lot that I have learned. One thing about me, I am able to read myself down, okay? So recently, I have been getting back into journaling, y'all. I had took a break, not a break from journaling, but I've been very sporadic with my journaling. You guys know I'm a journal girl. I love to journal. But in past months, it got really sporadic. But recently, I've kind of honed in on that. And I've been focusing on journaling a lot more because it just helps me look at myself from an outside view and um, just analyze my mind a little bit more, analyze myself a little bit more. I, I learned so much about myself when I do journal. So recently, I've gone back into that and just keeping that stillness within myself. You know, when the world gets loud, I wouldn't remain quiet within myself. So I've been journaling. And one thing I have realized is that I have been moving way too fast. I have found myself constantly looking for the next chapter. I never really take that moment in the present. And again, this ties exactly back to what I said before about being stuck in that trap of becoming, 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 and never allowing yourself to be. Um, I've been so focused on becoming, 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 and running through these chapters of life that life is passing me by, okay? Time is already moving. I don't have to push it to move any faster. It's already going. I'm going to graduate next year. This year, this school year, I am graduating. And that in itself is such an accomplishment. Me even getting to nursing school and passing these exams and passing these, you know, not passing every exam, but passing these classes um, is an accomplishment in itself. And, you know, I said this before and I'll say it again. Right now, I'm living an answered prayer. So for me to run through it and not take the moment to have gratitude about living in this answered prayer is doing myself a disservice. I've found myself looking, ooh, almost broke my nail open in this job. I've found myself looking at past moments and being like, oh my gosh, I wish I enjoyed that a little bit more. So now my focus is being more in the present, um, having a gratitude and being thankful for who I am right now because, you know, like I said, we're always growing. So who I am right now is already better than who I was before and I'm only getting better with time and allowing myself to fully live within that moment. I know that's right. <laughs> Ooh, this nose got through too snatched. <laughs> yeah, this nose looks too good. This nose contour. I love using bronzer for nose contour. Sometimes when it's too cool toned, it doesn't come off as natural and it looks really harsh. So bronzer is like my go-to when I want to sharpen my nose a little bit. And part of what showed me that I was running through life just a little bit too fast was watching younger videos of myself, videos that I made in this room doing my makeup. And I'm looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh, 12 year old me did not know how iconic she was with her braces and black lipstick child, okay? Like I was already so perfect and I had no idea. I was like, I need to do this, I need to be this, I need to be this. I need to have my glitter bag drop, I need to have this. When in all reality, Personality has always been there. Talent has always been there. The girl was always there. I was already her, okay? And I had no idea. And I was like, I know that there are going to be times where I look back at who I am right now. It's like she had it all together and she had no idea. Oh, well, baby, let me get a clue. Let me, let me start having an idea then because we're not wasting any more time. And we can honestly learn so much from our younger selves because 17-year-old me was scared to start a business. But 10 year old, 11 year old me wasn't. 11 year old me jumped on YouTube, making beauty content. This whole platform is my 10 year old brainchild, okay? Like before there was even a term for influencing, I knew that this is something that I love to do and I was okay with playing myself on the internet looking crazy. You know, when you were a kid, you don't know how crazy you look, but looking crazy. 11 year old me didn't care when she go on the internet showing girls how to contour and she didn't know what she was doing herself. But she worked the kinks out along the way. Now the girls want tutorials. Clack that tea. 
Okay guys, so we have officially made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. If you want to see some behind the scenes, go ahead and follow me on all my socials. They will be listed down below. And with that being said, I love you all and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.